All right, this is part two of the Bones video, I suppose, because I cannot find a quiet area or people that are not obsessed with making noise. So, I was talking about Bones pythons, but I'm basically just gonna talk about pythons in general. <clears throat> so something to consider is when we're talking about humidity. So if I keep an animal such as this Bones python or carpet python or green tree python or something like that. Even in an environment that's very, very dry. What, what are the negatives of that? So what happens is, besides just the physical detriment that it causes the snake's skin, the animals start behaving differently because every time it breathes, it's losing moisture, you know, as it respirates because the air is dry, so naturally, it, the, the air that it's breathing in is going to help desiccate it, so it's going to help remove or rob moisture from the animal. And also if there's aspects in the cage, such as a substrate, bedding, any kind of hide materials or whatever that are dry, <clears throat> they're going to help remove the moisture from this animal's life. So when you start talking about humidity, generally like a lot of pythons, you know, 50, 55%, 60% is... Uh, kind of often on the low side, but we also don't want to overdo it and just have this animal in this wet type enclosure where that isn't going to work either. So uh, here at NERD, it's, the ambient humidity is, is quite good. It's usually, right, this you know, we're in the winter time right now, so this is a little bit drier, but I think it's at least 55%. And when I start looking inside cages, I'm starting to see humidity, 65, 70 percent, something like that. And uh, so in a home environment, your humidity in your ambient house could be 20 percent, 25 percent. So when you take an animal like this, and if you look at the, the enclosure, the enclosure is quite simple. But I get away with this because literally the reptile is designed for reptiles. So we have high humidity, high temperatures, and it's you know, it's, it's, a, it's an environment that these animals really appreciate. So when I am basically managing proper humidity, I will reap the rewards by having animals that are more likely able to eat. They'll have successful sheds and they'll just do better. And a lot of that is just literally because I'm managing humidity. And it's very important. So in your home environments, sweater boxes and type enclosures with some air holes or lidless systems, those will help increase you know, humidity for sure in an enclosure and help you succeed. So if you were to keep an animal like this, let's say in like a little 10 gallon tank or you know, some kind of vivarium like a Exoterra or something like that, and you expose that to ambient room environment type humidities of your home, certainly in the Northeast during the winter it gets dry, it's not really humid out there, it's going to create husbandry problems. So if I took this animal and I kept it on let's say something like Eco Earth or something like a cocoa bedding or, or dry orchid bark or something like that, that is basically going to desiccate this animal. It's going to help remove humidity from the animal's environment. And we won't be able to manage our humidity. So I just keep on going on about humidity. But humidity is a big deal. And certainly with Boland's pythons, it's going to be a really big deal. But when you often have a snake that isn't doing well, and it's just like, you know, I try to feed it and it's not, doesn't want to eat, or it's, you know, failing to, to thrive, we need to go back down to basics. We need to make sure that we're, we're dealing with the parameters of temperature. But a lot of people will overlook humidity. And literally, I mean, it's, it's just a really, really simple environment. I have paper in here. It'll go on a hot spot when it's in its rack. You have water, high box. You put some uh, material in there, like long fiber sphagnum moss, which is really nice. And you can also put some little fixtures in there. In this case, I'm using this like egg crate. And you want to basically make it so this animal is going to naturally, it's going to hunt. It's going to cruise around its container and bones pythons are incredibly active. So this is what they do. So I don't care if you have a ball python, you have Burmese python, 
you have a carp python, you have a macros python, you have any kind of uh, tropical void, you need to really consider humidity. And if you're not going to consider humidity, then you're going to do better with you know temperate colubrids, let's say like king snakes, corn snakes, maybe some milk snakes that are uh, more sturdy when it comes to that kind of thing. But you know, really make sure if I'm saying some of the stuff and you go, wow, my snake doesn't like to eat or my blood python or whatever. You can see some snakes just by looking at their skin. When their skin has like a shiny look to it or whatever, I can just go immediately, oh, you keep your animal dry or it's too dry and people are like, what? Well, it's just because it doesn't have that nice, soft, silky sheen and it has like a, like a really dry, shiny look to it. And that basically is telling me that that animal is being managed in a fashion where ultimately it, it may not want to eat or it has you know, problems like shedding or whatever like that. So really make sure you consider what I'm saying and you dial in your humidity because it really is going to make a difference. And uh, this is a great snake that if you put a basking light on it and you put it on a dry bedding, this animal will quite likely die. They need their parameters met. And with such a valuable, rare animal as, such, as this Boland's python, you really need to make sure you're on point. Look at that snake. It's acting so cute now. Look at that. All you need to do right now is yawn. Wow. Yeah, that's magic. If I can only hold this a little steadier, I'm trying. As I do macro. No, don't go away. My, my phone just freaked out. It's overexposing right now. Okay, well, anyways, hopefully some of this babble I'm coming up with right now is making some sense. Humidity, very important when we're keeping these tropical voids, pythons and boas. Say goodbye.